Car Cost Canada provides the dealer cost, a list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. The link is in the description below. Well, you're looking at a couple of the very first Panamera GTSs to land in Canada. I'm here with Porsche Cars Canada getting a chance to drive this beautiful green Sport Turismo. So let's get at it. What's that old saying? Good things come to those who wait. Typically in the Porsche cadence of introducing new vehicles, a GTS model kind of signifies the end of that current run, meaning that in the next year or so, they're gonna refresh the vehicle or come up with a new model altogether. In the case of Panamera, it was introduced in 2017. This GTS signals that probably within the next 18 months, there's gonna be a facelifted Panamera, but it's worth waiting for this car. It's worth getting this now because the next GTS in the Panamera line won't be for several years. You see the way it works? The great thing about this car is you take the goodness of the turbo Panamera and distill it down into GTS form. What does that mean? Well, it all starts with the engine. This comes with a four liter turbocharged engine, but slightly detuned from the turbo. So you've got a V8 at play, and there were worries that maybe Porsche was gonna plumb in a twin turbo V6, much like they did with the Cayenne GTS, but no, they stuck with a V8. It's gone from being uh, naturally aspirated to turbocharged, which is just fine because it gives you great benefits in terms of torque and delivery of power. So. Yes, it's the same engine as the Turbo Panamera, but it does have less boost and a different clutch pack to produce 453 horsepower and 457 pound-feet of torque. But it's also a lot less money. So yes, you get a little bit less power, but same wonderful engine, but you get a lot of great goodies in this car, starting with the suspension. So you get a three-chamber air suspension as standard equipment. You get the PASM and the Sport Chrono package as standard equipment. Plus, you get a 10 millimeter lower ride height than the turbo even. So this car has the ability to really slink down onto its suspension and give a really nice hunker down ride. And also you get the big red brakes that you don't get on the Panamera 4S. They're included in the GTS as standard equipment. Now this car is sold not only with the regular Panamera, it's also sold with the Sport Turismo. There is a difference between the two cars when it comes to weight. The Sport Turismo is 100 pounds roughly heavier than the sedan. I'd be okay with that because for me, this has just got to be one of the coolest looking cars on the road, but uh, more people will probably buy the sedan just because in North America, unfortunately, people are adverse to kind of anything that looks like a station wagon. And it's interesting talking to the people here from Porsche Cars Canada, about 10% of Panamera buyers now choose the Sport Turismo. Only 10%, 90% are still going with the regular sedan. And this car has been a sales success. It's outsold S-Class, which is the king of the hill in terms of sales in the large sedan category. Yeah, more Panameras have been sold than the S-Class from Mercedes-Benz, but this is a newer vehicle. And here we'll do a little acceleration. You get a... You get a better exhaust note too because the GTS comes standard with a sport exhaust system. This car actually has a louder exhaust system than the Panamera Turbo, which will appeal to a lot of people. Now I mentioned that it's slightly detuned, right? But it's still a very quick car. This car will make a run to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.1 seconds with the launch control and the Sport Chrono package, which this car gets standard equipment. So who is the Panamera for, first of all? Well, somebody that wants to have a luxury, large car. Now, those sales are kind of diminishing overall, but Porsche's been able to actually grow the sales of this car. A big part of it is the way it looks. Just a much better looking Panamera than the first effort was. So sales have actually gone up. Now, the other thing they've added in is the plug-in hybrid, and that is actually the best-selling vehicle in the Panamera lineup. So people are looking for a large car, a luxury car, a powerful car, and some people want to have that sort of green footprint as well. 
but this one, the GTS, is the one that somebody who is really the enthusiast driver, the person that likes the V8, likes the prestige, likes the GTS on the back, and plus it looks so cool with the uh, black trim on the windows, the darker taillights, and of course the black GTS on the back. It all comes together to give a much sportier look than the rest of the family, even in some ways than the turbo. So just behind that plug-in hybrid, Porsche thinks that this will be the second best seller because it really is the way to go. If you're planning on getting a Panamera 4S and layering on lots of options, this car is actually a better deal because it comes standard with all the things I talked about for one package of $146,000 in the Canadian market. The Sport Turismo, by the way, is a premium, and that's maybe one of the reasons they're not selling uh, more than 10% because it's about $7,000 more to get the Sport Turismo than it is to get the regular sedan. The Panamera GTS, just like all other Panamera models, comes with the oversized screen in the center of the dash and the new glass panel as the center console, which is a bit of a fingerprint and dust magnet. What does come standard with the GTS is Alcantara seats, Alcantara steering wheel, and an Alcantara headliner. Also, you'll notice the dark brushed aluminum on the dashboard. Because Alcantara is not offered with ventilated seats, if a buyer chooses ventilated seats, they need to opt for a full leather interior. Even though the Panamera GTS is based on the turbo with a more assertive suspension that's slightly lower, it does soak up big bumps easily. Driving through southern Ontario with lots of rutted and potholed roads, this car absolutely soaked up the bumps with no problem at all. And the turbo engine is just the right match for this car. It's got usable power for everyday delivery and never feels lacking. A full-blown Panamera Turbo after driving this GTS kind of seems like overkill, especially with the price difference. So the Porsche Panamera GTS, $146,200 for the regular sedan, about $7,000 more if you want this Sport Turismo. Now that's a lot of money and this is a premium product, but if you look at this in comparison to the turbo that it's based on, there is actually some value there. So as I mentioned at the beginning, good things to come to those who wait. Car Cost Canada provides the dealer cost, a list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. The link is in the description below.